Today I wanted to talk about um, research that's been published recently in the December 2018 issue of California Agriculture about uh, a very specific and very aggressive group of plant pathogens that uh, we, we have discovered are being released unwittingly in, in, in nature uh, by using infected uh, plant stock in restoration projects. And the, the group of organisms I'm talking about is, is called Phytophthora, which means plant destructor. Uh, the name itself should give you an idea of how dangerous these are. So these are restoration projects that are aimed at restoring the natural habitat. And so normally what uh, the agencies that are in charge of these projects would do, they will grow uh, or they will buy native plants they were in these, in these locations and for some reason were destroyed by fire, they were destroyed by any kind of disturbance, they were destroyed by, by changes in land use. So they will basically grow these plants and then put them back, um, trying to recreate the, ha the, the habitat the way it was originally. And the idea is good, of course, but um, a couple of years ago, uh, a group of scientists discovered that uh, the plants that were being produced for these restoration projects were not healthy. These plants were actually carrying these Phytophthora pathogens. And um, the result of this, of planting infected plants in these restoration sites is twofold. First, the restoration fails. And then the second side effect of using infected plants is that these microbes will move out of the restoration sites and then they will infect um, wild plants. Um, as a result, not only we have failed restoration projects, but we also start having mortality in neighbor, neighboring uh, natural habitats. And um, a sad, um, humbling um, thought is that historically, we have never been able to eradicate these pathogens from natural habitats. The December issue of California Agriculture actually has three papers on this issue. And the first paper really covers more the political situation, you know, the, how the, the issue is affecting the, the facilities that are growing plants and uh, how now people recognize this is a big issue and what they're doing to clean up their facilities. The second paper describes the problem in detail. So basically it describes all of these exotic species that have been identified in restoration sites and in the plant production facilities that provide plant stock for the restoration sites. And many of these findings are a first for California. So it's a extremely new novel information. And then the third paper actually is an attempt to introduce three different and new approaches to survey and sample large production facilities. And you know, one of them, more traditional, uses pooling plants. The second one uses water runoff, so the water they use for watering gets collected and then tested. And then the third one uses dogs to actually sniff phytophthoras out of infected plants. So we've worked on um, the dog identifying the fungus. First we started with it in um, putting some of the fungus into the water and then into soil and then finally some of the fungus on leaves. And we put it down on the floor and we do some targets, which is one target, which is has the disease on it, and then the rest are all controls with nothing on them. And she has to detect the right one and then she gets treated for that. 